Hi, in this video we are going to look at an algorithm problem from the 2015 HSC Software Design and Development Exam. This is question 23, part B, and there are four marks available for this question. And here's the question. The subroutine, or function, char tally, which has uh, in the brackets there three parameters, string, char, and count, counts the number of times a character, called char, appears in string and returns a result in count. Okay, so those first two uh, values here, or names here, are parameters. We have string, so that's going to be a string read by this subroutine, and it's going to check how many times char, which is going to be a character, appears in that string. So those are the two parameters, and then we also have count, which is what's uh, returned from this function. It's going to be a number, how many times char occurs in string. A one-dimensional array called students contains 20 names. Write an algorithm to count the total number of times that the lowercase letter f appears in the array students. Use the subroutine char tally in your algorithm. Okay, so not only do we need to count how many times the lowercase letter f appears in a student's name, but we need to do that for all 20 students in this array. So we're going to do, we need to use this uh, char tally subroutine, and that means that we're going to have to use that subroutine 20 times, once for each student, or once for each student's name. Okay, so student's name is going to be the string that we're looking in, so, and then uh, char is going to be the lowercase letter f, and count is going to be the number of times that letter occurs in uh, a particular name, and we need to... Um, we need to keep a total of the count, so a total of how many times letter F was found in each name. Okay, so let's start um, writing this algorithm out. We can start with the, the keyword begin. And we can give this algorithm a name. It's going to be finding a particular letter in an array of names. And this uh, solution here is based on the sample answer uh, for this question, but just modified slightly. All right, so as I said, we need to keep a total of how many times uh, the lowercase letter f has occurred in all of the names. All right, so we're going to need a variable to keep track of that. So we can create one called total and set it to zero um, to start off with. Now to go through all 20 names and not just one of the student's names, we're going to need to go through each element in this array where each element is a student's name. And the best way to do that is to use a loop. Now we could use a while loop, but a for loop is going to be much um, more efficient and safer to use because it has a built-in counter where that counter variable can be used to represent each index in the array to access each element or name in the array. And that uh, counter is going to increment in each iteration or running of the loop automatically. So there's no risk when we use a for loop or, or there's a reduced risk of having an infinite loop or um, going beyond the length of the array. Um, so what we can do is we can start off with four to create a for loop and we need to give the counter a name. I'm just going to call it I equals and then the range that this uh, counter is going to start from and um, go up to. So it's going to start from 1 and it's going to go all the way up to 20. So there are 20 names in this student's array. So we could just say 4i equals 1 to 20, which would be very similar to the sample answer for this question. Um, but to make this algorithm more reusable, we could say something like 4i equals 1 to length of students array, which is 20, because there are 20 names or 20 items in that array. And that would make this algorithm more reasonable if in the future we had to use it on a students array that maybe um, had a reduced number of students or maybe an increased number of students. All right, so I'm gonna say 4i equals one, two length of array students. You could write that as two lengths of students array or two size of students array or two number of elements in students array, and that would be fine. All right, now in this, uh, each iteration of this loop, 
for each name that we're getting from the array, we need to use the char tally uh, subroutine. So first thing we're going to have to do is reference that subroutine. So let's say char tally. And then remember we have three parameters here inside the brackets. First one is the string that we're going to check. So the, the student's name that we're going to check. And so that's going to be student. So that's the name of the array. And to access each student's name, we're going to um, specify the index for each student, which is going to be I. Okay, so students I, when the for loop counter is set to one, is going to get students one, or the first name in the student's array. Then when the for loop um, goes onto its next iteration, that counter I is going to increase to two. So we're going to get the second student in the array, and then again, the third student, the fourth stu student, and so on, as I is going to start from one and go all the way up to 20. So that means we can individually get each student name, um, check it in this char tally function, check if the letter F is in there. So we say comma for the second parameter char, that's going to be the lowercase letter F as a string. And then another comma, and we need to count how many times F or lowercase letter F has occurred in this particular string and return that. And um, that's count, but we can give it a, a different name when we um, uh, use the subroutine. And so for example, we can call that uh, num, short for number. Okay, now what that's going to do is return the total number of times the letter F occurs in this particular string. So in, in the particular name uh, that the has been accessed in, in the array or the particular name we're looking at in this iteration of the loop, that's going to return into the variable num. So what we need to do is add num to the total that we're keeping for all of the names. So we can just say total, oops, We can just say total equals total plus num. And at the end of the for loop, we can just say next i. So the counter will go up by one. And then at the end of um, this uh, subroutine, we can um, print out the total number of times that that letter f occurred. So Something that we can say print total and then end the algorithm. And that's it. All right, so here we have our completed algorithm. Now, there are other ways that we can write this. So as I said, we could just in the for loop say for i equals 1 to 20. But um, the way that this algorithm is written will make it a little bit more reusable, um, easy to modify and maintain in the future. And it uh, works correctly. Thanks for watching.